guys, my name is Janira and I am the diabetic lady. Welcome to my channel and I hope that you like this video. This is my second video and it's like a preview of what I'm gonna be doing with some of my type of videos because I wanted to put like my life and how diabetic, uh, my diabetes affect my life daily. I don't gonna be like recording every day, but I'm gonna be doing like one video that have different days of how I live with my diabetes, what thing I do, what and how diabetes affect my life. So I hope that you like it, and this is gonna be only two days. So enjoy it. Hey guys, um, this is one of the videos that I'm gonna start making. Um, I'm going to start like recording like small uh, moments during different days in a week or two weeks, so I can like collect um, small information and updates about my health and my diabetes. And today I was in my primary doctor appointment and the first thing is my lentus apparently is working better with 26 um, units every night. The only thing that I had to change or be more careful is like, it's supposed to be at bedtime, but because sometimes I go to bed at 10 and sometimes I go to bed at 12, I had to um, choose like a time range where I can put um, my insulin. I was hoping between 9 and 10.30. That is my hope that I'm gonna um, use that insulin every time. And the second thing is that because my, tomorrow is my endocrinologist appointment, uh, we're gonna try to find out two things. First, how much calories I have to consume because the last time I do that I was very active I was a dancer so I was dancing all days every day in my life so right now I'm not dancing I'm not that active I need to reduce my calories every day and second uh, I want to know if it's possible to go back to my um, to the insulin pump because I had very much better control when I had it but because some insurance um, issue I had to start over all the process and stop having my insulin pump um, cover with my insurance so let's see tomorrow what the doctor says about about those things um, I'm gonna ask about blood sugar testers like it's like some pad and that you put in your body like the insulin pump if that check my blood sugar levels every time is better so I'm gonna ask him about that too and hopefully um, they're gonna be good news about that I need to control my levels I know that and I'm trying to reduce a lot of my carbs sometimes it's very difficult I told that to my doctor but she want to first of all to write um she want me to like write everything that I eat like everything 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 so they can know how much carb I'm consuming and if I'm doing correctly the counting um we are waiting for tomorrow appointment with the endocrinologist to do the appointment with the nutritionist so I can um like relearn every process and that is the update about this appointment hey um endocrinologist appointment update and the doctor used the same um lab results like um the same that my primary doctor lab result because the time it was very close um Obviously, my A1C is too high, so we had to work with that. He asked me about my experience with diabetes. Um, 
I told him about my experience with the insulin pump and how it affected me when I had to go out of the insulin pump. So we talk about the options. Yay! I'm happy with that. He sent me to a pump um, school because now I have like a ton of possibilities and I had to learn about all these pumps. New pump for me. So um, I'm going to that school and I'm gonna learn about it and take a decision for uh, which one is better for me. And that's great. So um, what is the other thing? I learned something new. And when I start like most of my life, uh, I have a controlled diet uh, with calories. And he told me that now, especially with di diabetic persons, that doesn't work like that. Um, we have to be more careful and control more the car carbs. So if I am very sedentary person right now, I had to be between 30 um, gram and 40 gram per meal. But if I'm more active, like I really doing like exercise or physical um, things, um, I need to be between say 80 and 90. It depends too if I want to stay in my weight or no. So I'm fine with my weight. I love my weight. So I don't want to change that. I just want to know how much um, food I can eat and how much I cannot so my sugar levels go down and control I can do my appointment with my nutritionist and in the school of the palm school they have nutritionists too so um, I have all that covered I hope I can go with my husband to that school so we both can learn all the new things about all the pumps, all the processes, and everything new about diabetes. I'm very happy that I have this opportunity right now because I kind of feel a little bit lost. Um, I had to go back in June, so that's what I'm hoping um, to have a decision when I have I go back. I have everything in my feet good all my nerves and organs they're good and functioning so i'm very happy with that only the a1c so i had to work very hard with that and anyway um i think this is gonna be the last um video about this update of this week so please 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 i want you comment if you if you use the insulin pump, which insulin pump do you use and which one do you recommend me? So I can have more information like for real people that have all these different kind of insulin pump and I take the best decision for me. Um, I know they all like were most, uh, something like the same, but still i want to know um about your experience with your own pumps and everything i used to have at first a metronic one and then an omnipod but it was like 10 years ago so all those change <laughs> even the same that i have in that time now they are they are doing different things so comment please and Give me your advice, give me your experience and your review about um, those insulin pumps and I hope everything goes better. For me this is a very good new news because I really want to go back with this so I can control better my diabetes. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please comment down below any suggestion, anything that you can say about the video. Maybe you want something else about my condition or about diabetes. And I think everybody knows somebody that has diabetes. So subscribe, share the channel because this is what I want to work. 
a community with diabetes where everybody feels supported with this condition and even the family members, friends, co-workers can know about this condition and how we have to live with it so they can deal better with this kind of situation, everything about diabetes or maybe some emergency with the condition. So please, again, subscribe and comment down below and see you in the next one.